So in this demo, we're going to be covering split fountains, where you take two separate inks, let's say this blue and this yellow, and you put them in the same screen, and when you print them, you blend the ink together to create a gradient. So here is an example of a split fountain where you're printing a yellow into a blue, and where it blends together, you get that greenish teal blue color. All right, the first step you want to do is figure out what direction you want your gradient. Do you want the yellow and the blue to be flowing in this direction, or do you want the gradient to go in this direction? And then you'll put your bead of ink in the correct spot. So for mine, I'm going to be putting the yellow on this side and then the light blue here. And what I do is I just take my ink and I figure out where I want it to stop where I want that gradient to, to blend. So I'm gonna take my ink and start here and then stop in the middle. So I'll take and carefully pour some of my ink in. Get all that even here. And then I'll take my other color, the light blue, and the same thing, I'm going to, to blend that. So I'll take and blend that ink in this direction. And when I get close, what I do is I just take the paint mixing stick and I push the two inks together. And you wanna make sure you have enough ink in here that you don't run out for the amount of prints that you have. So now I have my blue and my yellow in one screen, and then I'll show you in the next step how to blend these together, some different tips and techniques. All right, so a few tips and techniques when you're printing a split fountain to get that really nice gradient. The first few prints that you are going to create before the ink blends in this zone here, you're gonna get a harsh dividing line. So what I like to do is on test paper, so I'll get some you know blank test paper and when I screen print, what I like to do is I like to move that center line around to get my gradient. So I'll print in one direction, but I'll do a little bit of an angle. So I'll print on this little angle here, and then what I do is I turn the squeegee the other way, and when I flood it back, I flood it on a different angle. So I'm constantly printing in one direction and then flooding in the other direction. And the goal is to really get the ink to move back and forth. And then once you get that nice blend or gradient between your two colors, then you can stop with the angle and then just print straight through it. All right, so my first pass, I'm going to flood the ink and I'm going to print it a little bit on a diagonal this way. So I'll take my ink and I will flood it in this direction. And then when I flood it back, I carefully will flood it a little bit in the other direction. And I tap the screen, and now when I do my first pass, I lift up, I tap to get the ink off, and then I flood it back in the opposite direction. I tap here, and I lift up, and then I take my artwork. So there's my first print, and you can see that really harsh line on how it divides. So as I print more of these test sheets, that line will blend more and more. So repeating the process, I'll print in one direction, lift up, tap the screen, and then carefully flood back 
in the opposite direction. And it may take, you can start to see how it's blending in there here. Sometimes it takes maybe six to 10 prints depending on the color for to get the perfect gradient. So I have some extra test paper that I use. Okay, so now that I have five or six prints and I have my blend of the two colors working well, I can put in my good paper. And now I don't have to print on an angle. I can print straight back to control the ink. Even pressure, straight back. And then I take the squeegee and I tap the screen to get the ink to come off before flooding it. Then carefully lift up so I don't get blue in the yellow and then flood the ink back. I stop, I tap again. And by tapping, the ink will come off the squeegee, and then I lift it up and put it in the back. So I'm trying not to contaminate. And now I have this beautiful gradient, and I have these two colors blending. Nice even pressure. Straight back, lift up, tap the screen. Flood the ink back carefully. Tap the screen again and put the squeegee in the back. And then you can just continue to repeat that process. Each gradient is a little bit different because you're not a machine and you may print a little bit more yellow or a little bit more blue, but in general, you get this really beautiful blend of colors together. So the design challenge when printing this is getting the ink control and making sure that when you print, you have a nice blend. Here's a close-up detail of what your squeegee should look like and then how your ink should be blended together. And then if you get a good blend and a nice print, you should be able to get a really nice gradient for your final. So for obvious reasons, because you blended the ink together, you can't put it back in your container. So what I do is I get an extra container and when I'm cleaning up and I'm done printing, what I do is I take a container here and then I just create a new custom color. So I'll take some of my light blue. I'll take some of that yellow and I'll blend them together once I get all the ink out. I'll take everything off of my squeegee. And then I'll mix a custom color out of that. So here's a sequence of the split fountain printing. So here's the first print where you see that defined line between the yellow and blue. Print number two. Print number three, starting to blend more, but still not smooth, very streaky. Then coming down, here's print number four. Blending more, but still not the effect we want. Print number five, the yellow and blue are starting to blend a lot more. It's getting better, but still not a smooth transition. And here's the final print, number six. This is the one that the gradation is really smooth, no defined line. So you can see a overview of all the prints 
Once you get your print and you're happy with the split fountain gradient, then you can go ahead and do all of your other prints from there.